Guys, what's going on? Just uh, finishing up my workout here for the day. Pouring rain out here in the mountains with fog. What else is new? Anyway, so I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, you know, what to do if you're if you're getting stuck and frustrated that either you're not getting results from your program, um, you know, whether you're trying to, to get stronger, lose weight, build muscle, get lean. Um, you know, if you're stuck, if you're frustrated, if, you know, sometimes you do things and you get good results and then you get stuck and things don't work. And I know, I know kind of that, that cycle, you know, if you're struggling to put on size, you're trying to gain some muscle and it seems like you gain weight, but it's kind of going in the wrong areas, right? You, you know, bulking up and putting on more body fat than muscle, or, you know, maybe you're just, um, trying to get more athletic and, and, and the things that you're doing to get yourself athletic and fit and in shape are actually, um, causing you pain and injury. So I want to talk a little bit about why that happens, you know, and, and what to do about it if you've gotten stuck and frustrated and kind of, you know, not getting the results that you want. Um, you know, and, and, and one of the things kind of, I, you know, I had to learn this myself over the years, um, you know, and it's kind of like following off of what I was doing today, you know, believe it or not, like when you're looking at that video, I am not doing like, I'm, I'm really building like strength and power right now and, um, and building some muscle as well. Like that's my goal. Um, but you'll notice that, you know, I wasn't lifting very heavy at all. Right. And that's kind of one of the things, you know, I, I used to have this belief that, you know, in order to build strength, you, you know, you had to lift heavy, right. You know, doing like five by five programs and, you know, and, and max effort kind of lifts and things like that to build strength, you know, and it's kind of like I was, you know, thinking I always had to go like all out all the time, you know, and I was using really the same type of approach constantly, you know, and so I would go good for a little while I'd feel stronger, maybe get some results and uh, that I was happy with, but then I'd hit that wall before long. You know, one of the things is that, you know, any one approach that you use isn't going to work forever. It's like, you know, the, the, the things that you do or the, whether it's a workout or a diet or both, the things that you do to get you from where you are kind of to point A to point B, let's say, isn't necessarily going to be the same thing that's going to get you from point B to point C, right? And it's, it's a constant kind of reminder. And it's, it's a hard lesson I had to learn was, was really the value of assessment, you know, and is kind of like a, a saying that goes, you know, if you're not assessing, you're guessing. And that's, that's kind of what happens a lot. You know, we hit the wall and we really don't have like another plan a lot of times, or we just end up kind of jumping from one program to another and kind of winging it. But there's not really a kind of a structure behind what we do or a systemized kind of approach for assessing, not, you know, why we're so much just that we're stuck, but why it's happening. You know, why is it that you're stuck? If you're stuck looking at that and really analyzing it, assessing it and, and, and assessing, you know, what is it that I need to be able to get the results that I want? You know, so, um, you know, if you're, you're at that point where, you know, you're frustrated and stuck at the lack of results, really looking at um, getting in there, analyzing things and assessing why something isn't working and assessing you and what you need. You know, a lot of times, like, you know, we, we might know people who've tried certain diets or workouts and get great results. And then we try it and we don't, you know, it doesn't work for us or it doesn't work very long. And, you know, it's because a lot of times like things that work for other people don't necessarily work for us. You know, there, there is no real one size fits all. And the things that work for us are really based on what we need. You know, goals are one thing, but our bodies need certain, um, you know, a certain way of training or certain nutritional requirements or whatever, you know, we might have, um, certain injuries that we're working around. We might have, you know, other kind of issues with movement patterns or certain exercises might not be suitable or the, the, the best fit for us, right? These are constant things that we always have to kind of remind ourselves to be constantly assessing. So we're not guessing. So that's kind of what I wanted to get at today. You know, there's always more than one way to achieve the goals that you have, you know, building strength and muscle, you know, it's not just about lifting heavy weights and, you know, and, and going all out all the time. You know, there's, there's other kind of ap approaches that will also lend themselves to doing that same thing with getting lean, you know, you're trying to burn body fat. You know, I know a lot of times we think we need to lift light weights and high reps and do a lot of cardio. And while there is some value in that, too much of one thing over time, a lot of times leads maybe to some good weight loss, but then maybe you don't get as lean as you want. You get stuck and, you know, sometimes you're, you're losing more muscle 
then you are fat, right? And again, it just kind of leads to, you know, assessing why is this not working? And maybe, maybe there's just something else that my body needs right now that might be completely different from, you know, the what's become the, the, the norm, you know, that we tend to think of, right? So this is just kind of what, what I wanted to remind you of and, and you know, getting you to, to understand the value of assessment, uh, of assessment and constantly assessing yourself, you know, if you're stuck, if you're frustrated, why are you stuck? What is it that's really going on? And what is it that you really need right now? So I hope that that helps. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to get out of this rain and get back in where it's nice and warm. So anyway, you guys, I hope you guys are doing awesome. Hope you have a great weekend. If you have any questions, comments, type them in down below. If you're stuck and struggling, type in. Let's have a conversation. Where are you stuck? Why do you think you're stuck? What needs to be done? Let's get in on this and figure this out, right? Because you have it within you. You have all the ability to be unstoppable. You got the ability to awaken that inner athlete that's within you, believe it or not, no matter what, no matter if you're stuck, no matter if you're struggling with pain and injuries, no matter you know what you've been through, it's there. Sometimes we just have to be a little bit kind of clever um, with how to kind of work around these things you know, in, in, in order to break through and get the results that we want. So anyways, you guys, I'll talk to you later.